kind of the ideas that I really want to play was was time, like make things that come from the past sound like they're coming from the future and things from the future sound like they were made 2,000 years ago. The boy from Brazil was supposed to be a time machine and I'm the time machinist and I'm just switching back and forth. Like it's like a time machine going out of control. It like, you know, process goes into the future, into total science fiction and then it throws you back in, in a 50s environment or in a 70s porn movie. Don't want things to be historically linear, I want them to be circular and that it becomes like this vicious circle that things repeat themselves over and over but at the same time they don't do the same circle they develop. Basically I wanted to be a time machinist in, in matters of music and I also wanted to make sure that uh, rock and roll has a safe landing into the new millennium. And then a lot of stuff I just write um, on keyboards like old 60s um, organs like the Fox Continental or Fafisa's. And I have this big distortion pedal called the Zoom Fire. It's such a violent effect that I can basically like make the most aggravating sounds out of any like an organ that sounds like a cheesy, boring 60s easy listening thing can become like a ACDC guitar. Since I'm processing rock and roll music into the future and into the digital and MIDI and also analog world um, I usually use two or three notes. Sometimes I think time doesn't go forward, I just stand here and time goes backward and I just wait for it to pass or something and that's kind of uh, how I feel about my music that it could be made anytime and it's always gonna work somehow. I mean, we'll see, time will tell. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>